Um, it's the, I think it's the 9th of, uh, January 2018, and, uh, still got till the end of the month for the reduction zone, um, but we had a break in the weather, it's kind of a nice day, so I'm over here at the lease, and I'm going to start, uh, clearing out some honeysuckle, and, uh, just, uh, try to clear it up, make it a better habitat for the deer, and, uh, so the property can hold more deer. Um, for those of you that don't know what honeysuckle looks like, See this right here, looks real nice and thick and everything and you would think deer would really love it. But deer really don't utilize honeysuckle very much. They don't browse on it very much. Um, covers, creates very little cover um, other than in the spring, spring all the way to late, late winter, it stays green forever. But they don't eat the berries, they don't really eat the leaves or anything like that. So I'm gonna start clearing this out over here and turned into a food plot so so if you guys come with me i'll show you what we got going on as you can tell right through there kind of hard to see right through there right here that way is the back ag field there's a little bit here so what i want to do I'm going to come in here. And if I come up in here, and I'm going to start, per se, about right here, right here, and go in and start clearing all this honeysuckle out through here and uh, turn this into a nice big food plot. Um, got a nice giant oak tree right here, produces lots of acorns but it all gets covered up by all this honeysuckle. So that's where I'm going to start today and hopefully I get a lot of it knocked out. Um, only got a couple hours and I gotta go get my son from school. So um, might as well get started. All right guys, this is a follow up to uh, me removing some of the honeysuckle. I was out here a couple hours the other day and uh, of course the camera went dead so I couldn't show you guys what we got done. But this is just in a couple hours, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Cluttered up it was. You see here, look, now all I did was cut it and start piling it along the trails where I want the deer to go, okay? And then you leave little openings, like right here. You come up here, I'll show you. Every about five yards, five, six yards, I left another opening. If there's another one, I'm gonna build another one. Oh, how I feel. <laughs> but, uh, got a, you can see a pile of all this stuff. But you can see here, yeah, there's my son. But as you can tell, it's pretty open. And the only thing I done was cut the honeysuckle. I didn't cut anything else out. Now I'll come back in to these honeysuckle stumps, like here, okay, here, there's a big one right there, there's some, there's some more, like there, yeah, it's styrofoam that was up in here, and I'll treat them with a glyphosate, so it kills them, and then during green up, uh, the roots will be dead, and uh, I'll be able to pull them right out. Matter of fact, you, most of the time you can just push them right over with your foot. All right, here's a deer trail right here. As you can tell, I went ahead and left it. That's a natural deer trail. And uh, right here, and it goes out to the what I could refer to as the back, back ag field. But uh, plan on going a lot farther that way but uh, well my son's happy that you can see here I cut that one and just in a day or so um, he was able to push it over and deroot it so now that's dead and don't have to worry about that one coming back but uh, as you can see here's what we're gonna do and this is step are. one and I'll keep you guys in up to date. not only do you do property management 
our habitat management for deer. Um, we also do it for all the wildlife, uh, squirrels, and birds, and everything. My son wants to show you a tree with a whole bunch of uh, woodpecker nest in it. So come on, let's go take a look at that. As you can tell, I don't know if you can see those very well, but that woodpecker has went to town on this tree. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Eight, eight different woodpecker nest holes in the thing. So, it's pretty cool. But this is why we do it. We like the outdoors and we love to spend our time out here. So, just something pretty cool.